East Valley Institute of Technology offers unique programs for high school students in early childhood education. And tell us more is Paula Corbin, early childhood education instructor. Good morning. How are you, Paula? Hi, I'm good. Thank so, you. I got to tell you, uh, the East Valley Technology Institute, the school is just incredible for those who are looking to either, you know, of course, further the career if they're older, mm -hmm. um, or for, again, our high school kids who are wanting to get on hands experience. Right. And that's what's so great about the school. Yes. Yeah, I've been at EVA for three years and I absolutely love it. Um, I love the kids. Like, we have a really good connection. So, all right, let's talk about the childhood uh, education program here. Yes. The Urza. What, what kind of program is this? Um, so it's a hands-on program. So I have students for two years. Um, the first year they come and they're learning um, all about child development um, all the way up to age nine. And they're learning some hands-on, just going to do some observations within that. And then their second year, they are actually doing internships where they're out in different daycares in the Valley, actually learning from the professionals out there. And then actually this program helps them, again, move on if they want to be teachers or yes. if they want to further into maybe being a caretaker for kids, like you said, in daycare. Yeah, and I also have students that want to be social workers, that want to be nurses. Like for all of that, you really have to have early childhood basics to know the milestones. So um, I don't want to always just be like pigeonholed into we want to be a teacher or a daycare worker. Like it's really for anybody that wants to work with kids in some capacity when they're older. Okay, so what is the age for them to do? I know it's high school, but is there a certain that they be Juniors seniors? Juniors and seniors is who I work with. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And so, and this is great. So, okay, so with this program, um, it's on hands, as you said. Mm -hmm. Now, do they come to the... Uh, event as they like to say yes um, for how long before they've been able to actually go into a classroom I know you said they do a little bit and then they go well COVID has put a wrench in all of that um, so right now we would hope to be working with um, some places but it's still kind of hard to get in but the whole goal is at second quarter because I feel like they have some knowledge like I feel like I can't just throw you out there without knowing anything so we learn some things and then after October um, they start to get in there and work with the kids um, so it's great yeah, yeah. I, I think it's great. So let's talk a little about the, of course, the uh, East Valley Institute Technology, because um, for those who know, there's a lot of different programs there. Mm -hmm. And overall, this is a great place for, again, high school and uh, adults that have been actually taking classes there, right? Yeah, it really is. Um, and it's a great way to get college credit, too. Um, so for my particular program, we have dual enrollment. We work with MCC. And then um, my students are also able to get concurrent enrollment. So they can graduate with 19 credit hours of um, college through MCC and they actually can graduate their senior year so they would have like their normal graduation, EVIT graduation and they get to attend MCC graduation because my students receive their certificate and foundations of early childhood. Yeah and right yeah. now we are needing teachers I mean in, yes. this, in, in Arizona all over yeah. which is so important. Yeah teachers and, and, and daycare workers I mean they say anywhere between 40 and 60 percent of them had to close because of COVID and so a lot of my students want to actually be entrepreneurs. And I'm like, well, this is perfect. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's the thing too. Do you teach them about, uh, of course, mm -hmm. uh, running a daycare or anything like that? Yeah, we do. And I actually have a lot of people that come in from the community um, that own their own daycares to talk to them about, you know, how they got started, what they need to be doing, what to look for. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now let's break the myth that it's not just young ladies you have in this class. You no. have a lot of gentlemen coming to this I class. I do, too. yes. I have boys that are coming through, which is amazing. Um, a lot of them want to be more into teachers, but if they're doing early childhood, they don't want to work with kids over the age of third grade. And so a lot of them are still going on to, like last year I had two go on to NAU um, to become teachers. Yeah, so yeah. That's, a, that's the thing we have to, because everyone thinks when, okay, yes. childhood education, it has to be a you know no. girls and stuff, but no, a lot more of the men are getting into I it. I encourage it, and honestly, I mean, that's people are looking for that that great diversity, and a lot of our kids, you know, might be lacking the male role uh, role model. So it's great to have them in there. Well, this is great, Paula. So yeah. again, um, when's the classes start? Have they already started? They have up? already started. Um, you know, if you want to enroll, obviously you can call Eva. We can get you into any of the programs. You know, whatever works best for you. Yeah, and rotating yeah. around, and yes. it's just great to go visit. And I know you guys have. Open houses always we coming do. up and stuff for them to go check out and see. Yeah, it's so, great. Perfect. Paula, thank you. Tell, okay. Don't on the website really quick if they want to. Um, just to go to evit.com and then you can click on whatever category that you want and then it can direct you straight to, you know, whatever program to send us emails. Perfect. Yeah. Paula, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. So, all right, there you go. And we have information on aztv.com for, of course, if you want to get into classes or you're one of your uh, young students uh, want to do it too. So, all right, come on back. we got more there on the next.